Hey everyone, so I finally figured out kind of what I want to do with this little textural piece. I also have this, it's called Shine of the Times from Giovanni. It's high gloss hair mist, but the first couple of ingredients are silicone based and dimethicone based, so I'm just going to spray it inside these little cups. Do a little flip cup first, kind of spread it around. Then I taped off that four, um, four bump bottle bottom so it directs both ways. Then I want to place it and then kind of do a bottle bottom pressing outwards. No idea what this is going to look like. Um, so bear with me. <laughs> the colors are Lucas Krill Titanium White, um, Sharon Williams Tricorn Black, Craftsmart Gold, Lucas Krill Copper, Craftsmart Premium Metallic Bright Gold, Color Shift Orange, Color Shift Yellow, Color Shift Purple, and Soho Phthalo Green. So yeah. Um, not sure how I want to layer this, but let me spray these real quick and get some gloves on, and I'll be right back. Alright, so with the Lucas Curl black and white in videos, that is a little bit of an accent inside the cup, but I want to try doing one side with a base coat of white, and one side with a base coat of black. So when I do that, um, bottle bottom. I just want to see how they react over the two different paints. Okay. I just want to do two little flip cups in there because I don't know if that's going to be enough, maybe. Mm, I think that one will be. No idea how this is gonna turn out, like I said. <laughs> so, fun, crazy experimenting time, as always. Now, since I put it on a texture, I know it's going to push out underneath the cup. It's kind of fun, I saw that middle cup right there immediately release, but this outside cup doesn't seem to want to be moving. I'm kind of sad because I didn't want to push that off, but I think it's going to as soon as I start this little second part. Oh well. Now what color to start with?
Oh, there's a lot of paint on there. Already, I can tell. Alright, so let me move this. I don't hate it. It's something kind of fun about it. And before I did the bottle bottom, I did miss the top with that Giovanni. Hoping to get some cells, but I think this is a fun time to try out the air gun. Now there are a lot of metallics going on in here and a lot of color shift. So when this dries, it's going to be very, very unique, to say the least. See all these little air bubbles popping up? And the more I hit it with the torch, the more all these little tiny cells keep popping up. I need some more of that green right there, I feel like. Or a little less. <laughs> no one saw that. I think that looks better. What do you guys think? I got I, I got stuff. Stop playing. <laughs> I am loving what's going on with that gold, that white, and that black in the center there. That is so cool. I can't wait to see how this dries, what texture it has, what comes of it since it has all that texture underneath. You can still see a little bit here, but it's causing it to kind of form this way. That's why it was tilting. This one has all the ripples, which I'm curious to see as it dries if it drips that direction. But we will see. Let me hit it with the torch again. Every time I move this thing, more bubbles come. There we have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe. Uh, just, yeah. Overall, just let me know what you guys thought of this. Is it something you guys would like to see again? In a freaking bubble. Anyway, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Check out all my sites, and I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye.